Hi everyone, in this video I wanted to show how even if I just type in any random thing it just comes up with things that predict the end of days. Like this here represents the key to open the abyss. See Matt Damon on Elite and NWO Amazing speech on this evil world. Remember, the new Jason Bourne movie is coming out soon, starring um, Matt Damon. And we talked about how um, Bourne was brainwashed, and it represents um, how the Illuminati brainwash us humans. We talked about that in previous videos. Also, look at this. CERN, the gates of hell opening. Remember, Morgan Freeman plays Jesus in Bruce Almighty. So does this, does this represent that God will open the gates of hell? So he's wearing blue for Jesus and God and the light. I said something, some stuff would happen on Friday the 13th, and I was right. IS militants attack a rack cafe used by Real Madrid fans. Even this MIT company is to do with the Illuminati. Because the I stands for Illuminati. They make, they make out that it stands for something else, when in reality it doesn't. <clears throat> the ingestible origami robot. Robot unfolds from ingestible capsule, removes button battery. Um, well, this these robots represent the same robots in iRobot and the Transformers, but also, like, the droids in Star Wars. Like, even this magnetic Hyperloop pod unveiled at MIT. They, if this is actually built, they say that they can transport people in 30 minutes, when normally by a normal train it would take six hours. Now, is this actually a thing that the Illuminati can transport prisoners quickly with? Because, um, like when they do their whole martial law thing. <laughs> They said it'll be too expensive to build, but when the money collapses, that won't be an issue anymore. Because the Illuminati will just be able to build things without even paying. Because they'll, they'll rule the world. Anyway, we'll come back to that in a minute. Look, uh, Johnny Depp, Donald Trump would be the actual last president of the United States. Now, we, we all of this time we thought it would be Obama, but maybe it's actually Trump. Um, he will be the last president. Here's um, Johnny Depp dressed up as Donald Trump right here. Now remember, Johnny Depp plays the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland and Alice Through the Looking Glass. So he re represents that Illuminati clown that's on that card game cover. Because M-A-D, Mad, Mutual Assured Distraction. So I think it's because Trump and Johnny Depp represent the clown. They represent the same person. That's why you... Johnny Depp is dressed up as Trump here. I know I know he says um, he did it for a laugh. But there is more, more to this than you think. See how his nose 
It's even shaped like an Illuminati pyramid right here. These circles in the backgrounds probably represent the wheel of the Great Tribulation. Just like those circles in the TARDIS do on Doctor Who. It says Spain toxic tire dump at Susanna forces massive evacuation. 9,000 people evacuated. And, um, well, obviously, like, this represents, like, the fire and the black smoke being released from the abyss. See how they even have these masks on? That represents, like, disease to come in. Like, a, like Ebola and, um, and the T-virus in Resident Evil. I mean, Ebola has already come, but uh, I imagine that worse diseases are yet to come. Come back to that in a minute. Right, right look at this picture here. Something is going on worldwide. See, it looks like a storm. Just like Storm in X-Men, and just like... In the uh, in the Katy Perry song Dark Horse, it's like a perfect storm, perfect storm. And when uh, Anne Hathaway says, "A storm is coming, Mister Wayne," in the Dark Knight Rises. Uh, um. See. It says here, and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. The mouth is re represented in this, in this Capri, Capri's crunchy advert. And then, oh, for God's sake. Uh, I think, it, is this the one? No, that's not the one. And then the flood is represented right here. See? This thing. See how this even looks like Freemason checkerboard symbolism again? There's this new film coming out with Blake Lively called The Shallows, and it's about the shark coming after the woman. It's to do with surfing. Or bodyboarding, or something of that nature. So what... When the shark comes after the woman, it represents the same thing as a dragon coming after the after the woman. And this woman right here represents the Blake Lively character. See how this clock is just like um, sh showing how it's counting down to the end of days. It's the same thing with the countdown clock on the Channel 4 program Countdown. Twenty-three people rescued after ferry collides with Pierre. This ferry could represent that ship of souls leaving for heaven again. So the same thing as the Britannia cruise on Anna Deck Saturday Night Takeaway. This hair seems to look like a white dog, just like Brian on Family Guy is a white dog. Representing heaven. And representing the fact that you have to have a dog to get into heaven. I guess when people smoke, they're taking the mark of the base. Look at this. Hezbollah commander killed by jihadists. Going back to ISIS again. This black and white photo right here represents the, the Illuminati trying to convince you that everything is black and white when it's not that simple.
So you write that here it says remove button battery. It represents this battery right here. We are all as batteries. The right for Satan on top. And the white on the bottom for heaven. Johnny Depp and Donald Trump represent this clown right here. See this, uh, this woman with the bow and arrow right here? It represents Susie, or Susan, from Narnia, but also Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games. Even Rey in Star Wars represents her as well. Th this staff right here, and, and the bows and arrows represent the same thing. This Vote Leave campaign is um, red for Satan. So, if we Vote Leave, are we doing a Satanic Act? That's the question. Um, you see how even this lorry is red for Satan? See how this looks like a cube, just like the Tesseract? And it says, let's take back control. It, is it because the Illuminati have actually lost control at the moment? And they, they want to take back control. But then you see people for the in campaign who are wearing blue shirts. So, is it saying that Voting to stay in is the right decision. Is it saying that, that that is the Christian decision and the side of Jesus and God and the light? I know this goes totally against what I said in one of my previous videos, but things change all the time, guys. I can't get everything right. See how this place is called... Winston Salem, that probably represents Winston Churchill. See the W for World War Three there. High Point, just like your man in the High Castle. Chapel Hill, I guess that represents your churches and chapels being burnt. See how there's this H here, just like the H for the Hadron Collider and the Harp Machine represented with these rugby goalposts and the American football goalposts. So you have the blues on top here and the reds down the bottom. Unfortunately that will change soon and Satan will have his time on the earth. See all of the green for Islam. Even this picture here represents all of the religions and science blending together. For the new world order. See this guy here. Is probably Obama. And the final thing I want to say in this video. Well. Remember this magnetic hyperloop pod thing. Um, well I swear. A few years back. On YouTube. I watched this video. About a time traveller. Who went to the future. And he said, aliens ruled the earth in the future. And he also said something that sounded... Ve he also said that there was something that was very similar to this magnetic hyperloop pod. I can't find the video um, on YouTube at the moment. So whether it's been taken down, I don't know. But uh, may God have mercy on us all. See you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Keep faith in Jesus Christ.